Hey guys, what's up? Ken here, Darcy here, and we got Mike, and we're behind the haunts. So today is a huge haunted house. We're going to the famous Statesville prison. We've probably been to this haunted house more than any other haunted house in Illinois, so we know this one very well, so we're pretty excited. Fun fact, this was the first haunted house that I've ever gone to, and actually is the one that got me started to become a haunted house enthusiast. So this is actually one of the biggest haunted houses in the Midwest, so we're really excited about it. It's the biggest haunted house we're doing so far this year. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll film more when we get there. All right, guys, what is up? We made it. Are you excited? Yeah, we're here at Statesville. Looks like a pretty good day for a haunted house. So we're about to go inside and go check it out. We're here at Statesville, and today I'm here with Paul Siegel. Ken, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. President of oh, Scared Inc. Scared yes, Inc. the owner of Statesville. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So, how long has Statesville been around for? Uh, we opened in 1996. 1996 has been around for how long? 22 years. 22 years. That's I'm as old as Statesville. <laughs> That's crazy. So, operating all those years, has there ever been like one crazy year or like a few? Well, in 2014 was probably our kind of the the, the high point uh -huh. um, in, in our, our history. Um, the, the, but the business, you know, it just continues to change. I mean, uh, we started out doing uh, uh, turning heads with oscillating fans and, mm -hmm. and uh, wiper motors to make things move mm -hmm. instead of being static. Yeah. And now we're using computers and yeah. and animatronics and and uh, that kind of thing. So. The business changed a lot. Um, competitions changed a lot. We've been open continuously for the 22 years. Um, I don't think anybody else in Illinois has been open that long. Certainly nobody in Chicago land. And uh, so um, probably our biggest number year was like 2014, 2015. I know my favorite room in the haunted house is the clown room. When did that come about? And who and whose well, idea was it to do? Well, from, from the first year, first year we had a jack in the box, a big. Four by four jack oh. in the box uh, that was um, a motorized. Uh -huh. um, again, it was like a, a, a wiper blade, mm -hmm. a wiper motor uh, that went up and down and made the clown come up and down yeah. as a. So that was a clown in the jack in the box. Yeah. So I guess that's probably right from the beginning we had clowns in uh -huh. it, um, and we've had clowns that were just roaming actors and uh, some friendly, not, some not so friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, very quickly I found out that a lot of people have phobias about clowns. Yeah. Uh, they don't know why. Uh, in general, people don't know why. You know, normally clowns as a kid, they're friendly, happy, uh, joking around type mm -hmm. of characters. Of course, Hollywood has turned that into something different uh, and, you know, made all these sinister clowns and so yeah. forth. So, but I would agree that, that that's, uh, Probably a signature room in Statesville, yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, which we just redid again this year, uh -huh. and uh, uh, it's it's a phenomenal room. Again, it was it was great. The room that we had for the clown room we had for three or four years before that was great. And we had a you know a clown room before that that was good. It just we keep taking it up a notch every time. Out of 22 years, what is the crazy story you have? Um, I was asked this just the other day, and. Uh, uh, I, I, I told them that uh, it was uh, rather intriguing, I guess, when uh, uh, a guy on a date with uh, uh, his girlfriend and some other friends uh, crapped his pants in the opening scene. And so I said, you know, the guy just got started and he lost it. So. I guess we were doing something right, just in that lecture. He probably brought scene. her here to act brave too, that's the sad well, part. Well, she went through, he did not. He came out and stood next to us, and uh, he didn't even get to go through the rest of the house. So I'm not sure what, what's left after you crap your pants, you know, what's left. But he wasn't going to try and figure it out, so he stayed outside, and she went through with the rest of them, and I doubt that they're still together, but uh, be one story. Uh, I'm sure she left him in the dust. But That's crazy. Alright, um, does pineapple go on pizza? 
the can. You can't? All right, cool. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're behind the scenes here at Statesville Prison. We've got Zach, who is one of the actors. We're going to ask some questions. So to start off, you want to tell us a little bit about your character? Oh, um, I'm the mouth in the rules room, so you know, I'm normally one of the first people you actually deal with. I come in there, you know, I read you the rules, and I just stand up there and do some stand-up comedy. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you do the same skit kind of every time someone comes no, in, or does it change? I switch it up. I like to like make people come up on my stage with me and sing, do a little Statesville American Idol type thing or like that, or I'll serenade some of them occasionally. Okay, and yeah, a lot of gore humor. <laughs> <laughs> so is this your first year or you've been here my time. Tenth, okay, yeah. so out of the 10 years, what would you say is your craziest story that's ever happened to you? Um, I had somebody literally crap themselves in my room last year, like diarrhea down their leg. It was, like, it was, he was right in the front of the line in the rules room, like right at the base of the stage, and like I just smelled something and I saw like next to his shoes. Oh, <laughs> man. So what's the process then? Do you guys have to stop? For the haunt for a bit to clean it up. Momentarily to get that cleaned and bleached, you know, that's a health hazard. <laughs> I would not like to have that job. Yeah, no, 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 no. So what are that's some of your... That's not my job, though, so thank <laughs> <Yeah>. God. <laughs> what are some of your tactics that you use to scare people? Um, I really like to just, like, you know, disorient them, you know, keep them distracted, and then have somebody else, like, pop up from the side. Like, more so I like to be the distraction, let somebody else come at them. Okay. So we've been coming to Statesville now for... Since we were in middle school, high school, and one of our favorite rooms has been the clown room. I've heard that the clown room has changed from previous it is years. Epic. Is it so what can I expect without giving away too much? Um you can expect a lot more clowns, much wider walking space, and just crazy effects. So um, we haven't been here in about three years, I think was the last time we were here. I don't know if you can remember too much, but it has a lot changed. You still do the City of the Dead, if I take it? We do City of the Dead, Statesville. It's a two-for-one ticket. Two-for-one. So, yeah. And you got the corn maze, right? Do you still do the zombie paintball? We do the zombie paintball. Corn maze is uh, another entity, but, you know, yeah. What's up, guys? We're here at the Statesville merch booth. So you can see they got tons of different stuff. They've got hats and cups and shirts and... That guy is not for sale, a little winky face, it's mine. You guys, what's up? We're in the gift shop, so let's take a look around. favorite treat, especially when it gets into October, is cheddar popcorn. Get yourself a box.
right, guys, we just got done with the house. How'd you like it? Yeah, Statesville's always a fun one that we've been going to for years. Uh, City of the Dead also uh, is a lot of fun. Uh, Statesville always excels in the animatronics for sure. They've got some of the coolest looking things and yeah. um, their new clown room is definitely worth checking out. He likes it. Mike likes it. Uh, yeah, we got to do a lot of cool things, get some backstage looks. We got to go up on the catwalk, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm sure you guys really, got really to see cool. that. Um, yeah, we'll always come back to Statesville. It's definitely our uh, closest one to our house. It's only about 45 minutes to an hour away. Yeah, so visit Statesville, obviously. I feel like if you're in the Midwest, you know Statesville pretty well. Yeah, it's a very um, famous haunted house. And even if you don't go to the haunted house and you don't like haunted houses, they have like a whole farm and fun area. I didn't know they had a giant slide in the back. And when I interviewed the owner, I was like, what, what is that? Th I never knew they had a slide back there. I didn't know they had like a whole theme park back there basically. So yeah, you guys should definitely visit, so. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, check out Statesville. It's in Lockport, Illinois. We highly recommend it. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one.